Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, May 3rd. Welcome to May. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Friday, May 5th is a full moon. Rising at sunset, setting at sunrise. Uh, the sunspots are kind of uh, tilted away from us right now, except for this little cluster up here. So a little quieter geomagnetic environment. Looking over the last week, I can't detect any change in drought at all. So holding pattern. Looking nationally, a little bit of change in Montana, but not much, just nothing really changing. Let's go through my quasi animation of snowpack as we zoom up through the entire winter season. There's the peak date there. And, oh, I should have stopped right there. Um, so, yeah, it is definitely dropping. We're not uh, up in this way over normal but getting back kind of closer to normal but it's still there so we're still way above the or median fantastic 135 percent of normal snowpack and we did get a good amount of water um, it was thought this last storm would have been a lot wetter up north and it shifted to the south but you've got two to three inch rainfall rates around pro below and down here and that's great those are some drought uh, crunchy areas so fantastic news there here's my severe weather uh, climatology animation and you can see it's getting quite close to us now uh, we are definitely entering severe weather season so like Thursday tomorrow we have a chance of thunderstorms and rain right now they don't have a marginal risk for severe weather but I'm kind of what watching for to see if that happens so it won't be in the maps today but it may be real so that, that is Wednesday chance of convection you can see some convection happening someplace in the state but nothing big the nearest severe weather is down here in the panhandle slight risk in uh, Big Bend area and then going to uh, Thursday we see chance of convection over most of Colorado I see this little tongue of marginal risk into Colorado that's kind of pointing at the front range and I would not be surprised if that gets drawn a little closer if not get to the I-25 corridor tomorrow so we'll see Friday starts to move out as dry air comes in looking at Wednesday quite dry Thursday chance of showers rain and thunderstorms a little bit of snow mix in the mountains Friday the showers and thunderstorm chances pull up in the northeast part of the state we do have some fires up in Idaho Montana and Western Canada and some smoke is now coming down so you probably noticed the sky looking a little more milky recently we had the cloud cover come in on Tuesday night from the convection in the mountains and that mixed with smoke kind of knocked stuff out there's a pretty good fire in northern Arizona too which I don't know how that can be they've had so much rain um, over the next 10 days our normal high rises quite dramatically from 67 to 71 low from 38 to 42 and we have these chances of pulse thunderstorms in the afternoon a little dry early week and then we have some chances of showers into next week so here's tuesday's water vapor satellite with above normal precipitation precipitate, water vapor period precipitatable water is coming up in a minute uh, and then lots of moisture up here got some dryness in the southeast and thunderstorms and activity in new mexico texas for Wednesday the low doesn't move much and this actually has a name it's an omega block and you have a uh, east coast west coast trough and a big ridge in the middle this one's quite tilted so it's going to break down soon but these can anchor and not move east or west for a long time so the air just flows through them and they stay um, <clears throat> looking at highlights um, so that should be Thursday I don't know why I have Wednesday so this is Thursday with our storms sitting there and there's some hidden frames okay well chance of showers then for next Friday we have another low coming by and next Friday we have another good chance and in between it's just a chance of some showers and thunderstorms okay so over the next 10 days the graphic we missed was showing you the Omega block but uh, here is the low kind of pulling in the ridge starts to move out so it all does become progressive it gets moving on Sunday Monday we have this little trough passing by to the north there's a ripple for Tuesday but looks like it'll stay kind of the north 
by Thursday. This digs down to the south and then pulls up over the state, giving us our Thursday, Friday chance of showers and storms next week. Looking at heat, this is red temperatures are above normal for that spot on the map and blue or below normal. We have the two troughs on the two coasts, so the two coasts are for the most part cooler. And for most of this time, we stay pretty warm east of the Rockies and out on the plains. It really doesn't change much. There's Tuesday into Wednesday, a little cool front comes through with that ripple passing to the north, but it washes out pretty fast. Some thunderstorms down south. We get a blob of cool as that storm comes out of the southwest for Thursday, Friday next week. For the most part, above normal warmth. Let's look at water vapor. This is I got these reversed. Precipitatable water. The greens are above normal atmospheric moisture and the browns are below normal. There goes the storm on Friday into Saturday, taking moisture with it. So I'm wrapping around in the Northern Rockies. Here's some moisture returning Monday. Not much, it's all in the northeast. And then we get real dry air for Tuesday, Wednesday. Look at this river of moisture way down here in Mexico. And then that pulls some moisture in and really um, moistens up the atmosphere for the end of next week. I'm going to show a new map here. This is dew points, surface dew points. So the higher dew points, the greens and above, are very moist, for at least for Colorado. And the blues and below are pretty dry down here in northern Mexico, it's extremely dry air. So but this is at the surface, it's not just the whole atmosphere. And you can see we had moisture around for Thursday, Friday. I'm just going to back that up and start because I had to do all that describing. So here's our Thursday moisture and Friday. So very moist dew points. Then that pulls out a little bit into the weekend. Still moist, still some showers possible in the northeast corner. Then we get dry air in at the surface. Moisture is never far. It's over here in Nebraska and Kansas and northeast corner of the state. Tuesday, Wednesday, the dry air at the surface moves in a little further. And then by the end of next week, the moisture comes back from the Gulf with extreme amounts of moisture out here. That's typical for the springtime. And that gives us a chance of rain then. All right, so let's look for these thunderstorms. Starting with Thursday, Friday morning, the sh showers pull through. And each day there's a little pop-up of activity in the mountains just because there is some moisture around. It doesn't take much for a little daytime heating to kick off an afternoon storm or two. But going to Monday, Tuesday, passing to the north, Wednesday, and then we get our next big shot on Thursday, Friday, right there and there. No, it's away. So for the next five days, the northern mountains may get some good water. Very little on the plains here, less than a quarter inch. Maybe a little bit more around Boulder, Denver. Snow is highest elevations in the mountains. For the next 10 days, mountains may get much better moisture. We may get a half inch, maybe an inch nearby. That would be nice. And snow, just wh whoever gets snow gets a little more snow and that's it. So 80s on Wednesday, dropping down to the 70s and then lower 70s as the end of the week storm goes through. Get, keeping some chance of a wandering thunderstorm now and then that's below the resolution of that map uh, each afternoon. Just watch the west to see if the sky gets dark. Remember, lightning is dangerous, so don't, don't be excited about tornadoes and floods and things like that. Lightning can uh, ruin your day pretty bad. So, All right, so this is... The beginning of a new month we had our outlook for may uh, april 20th see all the above normal below there and above normal here and then 10 days later they came out with another may outlook and it's quite different with more above more below there and it was strange uh, for the may outlook in april 20th just in the southeast u.s was at above normal chances of measure um, precipitation and dry in the Great Lakes in the Northeast and then they've 10 days later added the West Coast uh, a lot that's crazy and much expanded the uh, Ohio Valley and Upper Mississippi Valley dry and believe it or not over the next uh, 14 days 
places in the Sierra Nevadas with that cool trough are back to getting 20 to 30 inches of snow in the highest elevations. So winter keeps on going out there. Yes, this is a new map. It's incredible. Longmont Leader, Broomfield Leader have frequent weather updates and great local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.